assimilation is the conversion of absorbed digested food to become body material whatever the material you see that is what we eat whatever we eat that becomes our body material and it provides energy for various activity so this assimilation is for giving us energy building our body and for various biochemical reactions so here absorption or assimilation takes place by two processes that is by the hepatic portal system and the lymphatic system so what is portal system when it starts with capillaries and ends into capillary and in between there is a vein it is portal system anything to do with liver is hepatic so now it enters the hepatic portal system now what enters the hepatic portal system simple sugar amino acids vitamins and minerals and what enters the lymphatic system it's fatty acid and glycerol lymphatic system is the complementary immunity system it is our circulatory system it complements the circulatory system and which helps in immunity so here it what enters in the lymphatic system it's the fatty acids and glycerol this enters into lymphatic system now glucose the simple sugar it enters the liver what happens in the liver glucose it's a simple sugar it gets converted into complex sugar that is glycogen now formation of glycogen from glucose is known as glycogenesis formation is genesis so here forming of glycogen takes place so glycogenesis takes place formation of glycogen from glucose now uh, sometimes we don't eat but still we have energy why that stored glycogen in the liver gets converted into glucose by the process glycogenolysis lysis is breaking so now this complex is broken to form simple glucose now this glucose comes into our blood circulation and it reaches to body tissues and then cellular respiration takes place and it also helps in synthesis of certain compounds so whatever whenever we take food some glucose will uh, be absorbed by the blood stream and release energy but extra glucose will be stored into the liver in the form of glycogen and whenever we require that glycogen will again be con converted into glucose will come into the blood stream reach each and every cell for respiration and of course glucose helps in formation of certain compounds so this is how simple sugars are utilized in the liver now amino acids they are our building blocks of protein so whatever the protein formation takes place we take in some protein but then again our protein different protein is formed so they form they are the building blocks of the protein of our body so here this amino acids they help in building and they also extra amino acid it is not stored in liver the extra amino acids what will happen the nitrogen containing amino group it is complex it consists of amino groups that will be removed to form urea and urea is excreted out it is a waste and the glucose is taken is taken from it and utilized for other purposes so this is how the utilization of amino acid takes place now this conversion into urea amino acid getting converted into urea that process is known as deamination so this is how the process takes place deamination of protein 
takes place deamination of amino acids that is removal of the amino group and the glucose is utilized for various purposes amino group is excreted as urea gets converted into urea and excreted out and rest of the amino acid is used for building purposes but it is not stored in liver what is stored in liver is glycogen so this is the process which takes place in liver vitamin and minerals they are utilized for various biochemical reactions in our body now fatty acids and glycerol they are taken by the lymphatic system so they are taken by the lymphatic system the system takes to the thoracic duct of the lymphatic system the biggest duct of the lymphatic system which, which comes from uh, this thoracic region it comes towards the neck which is the biggest one and that duct empties this fatty acid and glycerol into the vein which is near the heart it empties into the vein which is near the heart that it carries the blood to the heart so thoracic duct of the lymphatic system empties in large veins carrying blood to the heart now extra fats if we eat lot of fat we tend to look fat why because uh, the extra fats get accumulated below the skin that is known as subcutaneous fats and if you eat more than that then it also gets accumulated between uh, uh, coats the visceral organ so all that visceral, visceral organ is the organs which are inside our body cavity that will be coated by the fats you will have fatty liver and all the organs will be coated by fats if we have tend to have lot of fats otherwise it is stored below our skin as subcutaneous fats so this is how uh, the utilization takes place by our body this utilization of the substances which we eat carbohydrate fats protein which are uh, digested and then absorbed and then building up process takes place that is assimilation